Hi, I'm Dr. from Matthews. I'm gonna be showing you how to go from relative VO2 to METs, which is gonna be useful when prescribing exercise. So let's start with a question that's gonna kinda of help frame all of this. So Tatiana was prescribed an exercise intensity of 20 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute. So that's in relative VO2 terms. Uh, however, she was not told what mode of exercise to perform she decides the easiest thing to do would be to simply look at a MET table, um, which is just a table that gives a list of activities and um, how hard each activity is in units of METs, which is an oxygen consumption unit. Um, and then from that table, she's just going to pick an activity um, that's the exercise intensity she wants, that's something she would enjoy, and that's what she'll do. Um, so. The issue is uh, she does not know how to convert to relative VO2, or from relative VO2 to METs, um, so she does not know how to calculate the METs uh, that she needs. Um, so help her by calculating from relative VO2 to METs so she can look up um, an activity in a MET table. All right, so that's the situation we have. Um, the given information is that she's prescribed a relative VO2 of 20 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute. And so this is actually a really simple thing to do. Um, what we're going to essentially be trying to get is the metabolic equivalent of rest, which is what we call MET. Um, and one MET is equal to 3.5 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute, which is that relative VO2 unit that we already have. Um, so all we need to do is get our relative VO2 and divide it by 3.5 and it's gonna give us our MET level. All right, so to plug that in, we have 20 milliliters per kilogram per minute divided by 3.5 milliliters per kilogram per minute um, and we end up with 5.7 METs. All right, so it's really just that simple. It's just dividing by 3.5 and that'll give you your METs. Um, and then what you can do though is you can go to a place that has METs, uh, MET tables, uh, like I mentioned before. Um, so you can go to this uh, link here, or you can scan this QR code, which will take you to that link. And it's going to show you a table filled with activities um, that the MET level to those activities are, is already known. And so you can simply look for, look for something that's around 5.7 METs, and there's a little bit of error to this, so I'd say somewhere between 5.5 and 6 METs is really what you're looking for. Um, and it's pretty simple to find loads of activities that they can then do that will get them close to the extra exercise prescription intensity that they've been given. All right, so I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you can put those in the comment section below. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.